Well guys, I'm back to my Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour playthrough. And after last episode, I did some changes to my deck. At least I did a lot of changes too. So many changes I might not remember. As I removed um, Magician of Black Chaos. And I removed Twin Hand Thunder Dragons, all its stuff. So it's like seven or eight cards I removed. And I removed Zoa so I can have less fusion me on Tribute Monsters I needed. So anyways, my new deck has Aqua Door, so someone has a lot of defense. Stuff I'm lacking a little bit. And I want to try out Archfiend of Guilford. Because this thing is... If it's sent to the graveyard, you can activate its effect. You, I can equip it to a monster on the field. And it becomes a quick spell card. And it'll decrease the monster attack by 500. So if it somehow just gets destroyed, I can use it maybe to counter it somewhat. That could be maybe useful. And I decided to give Command Knight a try. Because it makes it sound like it can force my opponent to attack something else. And depending on how it's worded... This could potentially get another 400 attacks, so it could become a 1600 attack monster, which is pretty good. Because I've seen sometimes when you say like that, as long as this card remains on the field, the attack of all warrior monsters, a 400 increased attack and all that. This is a warrior too, so it should apply to it as well, so I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try out Copycat, and see how well it does, since I've seen it used against me pretty efficiently. Um, I brought back Axe of Spare, I'm using Chorus of Sanctuary, which increases as a field spell. That increases the defense of all defense position monsters by 500 points. Giant Trunade, I know it's a really good card, but I'm going to finally try it out since I got a while ago. And uh, there's another change I did. Oh yeah, I brought back Spellbind Circle. So yeah, I did some changes in my deck a little bit. No, I don't need to say. I said I don't need to say, alright? Alright, so yeah. I'm going to try out the deck and see how it works. Some of the cards I am going to be experimenting with, so they might not last long, but we'll see. But of course, gotta give them a chance. Sometimes, some things, you know, I do think Giant True Name might come back to bite me sometimes too, because it, it removes all spell cards, I mean spell and traps, on the field. Or put them back in your hand. That, could, that means me too. Alright, starting off with Rex. And of course, I'm going to go second. So let's see, my hand, uh, not necessarily the best, but I have options though. Ooh, make that makes it better. All right, I'm gonna activate Gravekeeper Servant, set these two, and then I'm gonna activate meet Summon Mad Sword Beast, and then I'm gonna activate Axe of Spare to increase the attack by a thousand, and then I'm gonna activate Horn the Unicorn to increase the attack by another 700. So now it has 3,100 attack. And it's gonna do pierce damage to the fence position monsters. Let's go! Oof! That's some major damage stuff with Ouch! Oh, 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 oh. oh! You can't hide from me, Rax! Hate to break the news to you. Uh nope, no need to do that. Alright, Poly Polly. And that's gonna be. Brachial Radius. Raised Body Heat. Again, that's that's not going to be enough. 2300 defense is not going to be enough to stop you, stop me, pal. Alright, summon out Grandora. I'll gain my 1,000 life points. Alright, now they go on the attack. Of course, here we go, attack you. And then, of course, I'm going to do Pierce Damage, so it's like 800 life points. There we go. I told you, that that's not going to be enough. I won't be surprised if that's one of the strongest monsters, too. Although, you should maybe still have Serpent Knight Dragon. I wonder if the game will not, will break the lore and give you red eyes. Because you originally had it before you gave it to Joey. Okay. That actually helps me out, too! You made Mad Sword Beast... Wow! He just made Mad Sword Beast stronger. Wow! Wow, he made Mad Sword be stronger. That was really dumb. <laughs> what was the point? Seriously, what was the point of doing that? Rex, that was dumb. That's pretty pathetic because you beat me twice already and you lost in this fashion. My gosh. Uh, but hey, thank you. And oh yeah, I cannot wait at the end of the episode, hopefully, to buy some new packs and get some good stuff. I got crap last time. Crap, crap, and crap. Espa now. 
right. And of course, I'm gonna go first. All right, Aquamador. Would be nice to maybe get some more like Mega, me a Metal Morphs and all those cards. Um, um, Mirror Force would be a really good card to get too. And I know it's possible getting the packs I got because I have in my off-screen deck, but I haven't gotten it yet. Wow. Oh, of course, a Sanctuary. <laughs> Take that. Let's see, is there anything I can do? Nope. I'm just gonna let go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to activate Chorus of Sanctuary. So now, Aqua Door is going to have 2,500 defense. <coughs> and then, I'm going to set this. And I think I'll just end my turn for the moment. Okay, he put that in defense as well. All right, Hane Hane. Put you face down. And I'll just end my turn. Nope. Do that. Is there anything I can maybe do? Nope. I'll slit you go. And I'll put um Cyber Raider back in your hand. So now technically I can safely attack potentially now. I don't even have I think that lets me see a, a card. I mean he lets him see my hand. Alright, bring out Regress Lever. And I'm gonna flip Aquamador into attack. And I have the gate attack to keep it potentially. Alright, so first we're gonna attack you. Oh great, Hero Shadow Scout, which kinda of sucks I have no cards in my hand, so I'm gonna need this cake. Good. Damn it! Well, no chance to drop giant trune, but ooh, copycat, nice! Alright, now Aqua Door, you're gonna attack Oscello Hero number one. Or number two, I mean. What's that? monster I just drew. Oh, Archmina Guildford, okay. Interesting. I can maybe try it out coming up. And of course I got Copycat as well. Is there anything I can do? Nah. Alright, just let it go. Oh, Reflect Bounder. Hmm. I guess I'll do Negate Attack. I'll just summon out Archfina Guilford instead. So I'll sacrifice Aqua Door and bring out Archfina Guilford. Then I'll activate Axe of Despair on. So now it's going to have 3200 attack. And then I'll activate Metal Morph on it. So now 300 extra attack and we'll do major damage when I'm attacking you. <laughs> there you go. That's going to put up over 4000 attack, I believe, too. Oh, fuck, it's right. Uh, it goes right back. God damn it, I forgot. But at least it does that damage, too. Keep forgetting about Reflect Bounder as well. I think I have that card, too. Maybe I should honestly consider bringing it on. Since I forgot about its effect. I think I do have that card in my deck. I might, in my hand, I might need to consider bringing it on. Alright, Horn the Unicorn. I have to be very careful of that because this is not a rig back batter. I could potentially lose the duel if I use Horn the Unicorn. Alright, summon out Grandor. But I'll try, I can't even use Horn the Unicorn, that's right. Because my slots are full. So nothing else to do but to attack. I'll attack with you instead. Alright, good. Go hero number two. So now I can attack your life points directly. And there we go. And that is game. There we go. He got me really good with Reflect Bounder. I will admit that. Forgot about the fact. I probably could have done something about that too and not have to take all that damage. But I'm not sure. But yeah, I need to look if I have that card. I think I might have that. Oh god, Joe. Oh, wait. Rebecca? I did she had three stars? I thought she had four. Alright, here we go. We're back again. 
All right, let's see how my new deck does against you. Wow, you're going to do Can Soldier right off the bat? Wow, I wouldn't have done that. I would have saved it for maybe later. But I guess it's just me. All right, set that. And I'll summon out Double Costume. And now I can attack your life points directly. And, of course, Scapegoat. Why am I not surprised? God, I wish I had that card so badly. Of course I'm going to attack. That would be foolish of me to leave something out there. All right. So, yep, does that. Activates Pot of Greed. No, there's no, there's no reason you spell by in circle right now. Alright, copycats. Are you going to copy double custom stats? Well, I'm definitely not going to use that, of course. Alright, I'll set Maneater Bug. And I'll just get rid of one of the tokens. Since copycat's gonna be exact strength but it's double custom. There's nothing I can do right now for it. And also copycat would work really good with her against her deck with um gravity bind. Is there anything? No, I'll save that for maybe injection fairy lily. Alright, and I'll use that to get rid of copycat. Yep, let's get you out of here. Now I have the strongest monster again. And, of course, here we go. Gonna do this. Yep. Now, here's the thing. Are you gonna be dumb enough to do it again? Yep, she's doing it again! I don't think that was a smart idea, though, Rebecca. I don't think it's a smart idea in the long run to keep doing it to leave yourself wide open for attack. Because, in the end, I'm gonna do more damage to you. Alright, double custom. Go for the attack. Alright, and then Shine Abyss attack. There we go. My turn. Dancing Fairy. No, I'll save it. I'll just do Spellbind Circle. Metal Morph would save me, but I'd rather save it for something more important. Sucks I had to use up Spellbind Circle. Alright, bring out Gear Freedy Iron Knight. So now I'm on the offensive again. Alright, okay, here we go. Alright, now double custom attack. Alright, and my turn. There we go. Alright. Ooh, Needle Worm. I'm gonna set you. Alright, now we go into battle. Oh, great. DD Warrior Lady. God dang it. Now, there they go. They're gonna be both removed from play. Oh, God. Now I don't have as strong of a monster now, but hey, I can still attack your life points directly now. Alright, here we go. Summon out Fairy Princess. I mean, Fire Princess. Okay. Right. Not really smart, just saying. Ah, you got bailed out. God dang it. Can you imagine if I lost a duel that way? Oh my god, that would have been so annoying. Oh, that would have been mad. Rage inducing. Alright, and then I'll activate Metal Morph. And I'll put it on double custom. Alright, here we go for the attack. That's gonna be like 27. Yeah, 26 fifth minute, say. You know, I. Oh no, it wouldn't have been enough. Damn it, call the haunted. God dang it, I can't attack now. No, 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 no. There's no point now to attack, because I can't do anything. Probably gonna be up. Oh, no, I can't do that. Damn it, can't do anything. And she, of course, gets bailed out. What a bitch. Oh my god, Brown Fairy Princess. And of course, I can't do anything right here. But at the same time, I don't think it was a wise idea to attack me. 
but you need to really put him in defense and stall out. Just say it. Alright, more in the unicorn. I'm gonna set Big Shield Gardener. And I think I will, just to be safe, activate Course of Sanctuary. That way Big Shield Guard will have now 3,100 defense if need be. Alright, and I'm gonna also activate Horn of the Unicorn on double costume. And yeah, that should do it. Ah! Oh, of course! Freaking Mirror Force! God dang it! Ray was about to win, she gets bailed out again with a great card. Ah! God dang it! Ow! And of course, oh my god. But hopefully that'll be enough. Please be enough. Please be enough. Please, 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 please. Oh, oh she just got bailed out. But now she can attack. God dang it. Oh, she keeps getting bailed out. This is so BS. And of course, brought Mary the Fallen One. Unfortunately, I can't do anything now in that regard. Well. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Alright, well, we got the hope for the best come up, because once again, I got nothing. Here we go again. This duel's going so good, but then this bullshit has to happen again. Alright, honey, honey. So I'll put Mary and the Fallen One back into her hand. And of course, if she wanted to, she could bring it back out. And she's going to set a monster instead. Alright, Galeosaurus. She's going to be able to bring out anything one if I special summon it, though. Yeah, I can't take any chances with any of these, these guys. Let's see, 2100. Alright, it's gonna have to do. So I'll summon out. Actually, there would have been no point to special summon Galeo Source because I had nothing else to bring out. Alright, horny unicorn. That would be really bad though if I lost it because then I'm gonna be fucked. Alright, but here we go, just do the damage. And if it wasn't for your stupid, um, Solomon Wishes card, I would have won. I know, no, no, I would have. No, I would have won. I would have won right then and there, but nope, I gotta wait another turn. She sets another cost monster. I mean, I kind of. No, I think I'll put in defense for right now just to be safe. But I can't really risk losing life points right now. Okay, good. Got rid of Ejection Fairy Lily. Good. Good, good, good. Get out of here. God. Okay. Marrying the Fallen One. God dang it. That was smart strategy, too, to get some extra life points back. And not only are you not going to destroy take a major life point hit, but now your life now your life points are wide open. <laughs> I watch. It's going to be Scapegoat. I bet you it's going to be Scapegoat. Okay, I'm going to sacrifice Wall of Illusion to bring out Archfiend of Darkness. And here we go. Let's go for the attack and try and finish this. Come on. Please finish it off. Thank you. Oh my god. She kept getting bailed out, bail out, bail out, and I still think we won. Let's go. Man, I'm still running into the same problems. Felt like someone with my deck not drawing stuff I needed to, but that was definitely a lot better than before. At least I wasn't stuck with cards I couldn't really use. Alright. And now Weevil. Man, I've seen like everyone so far. I've seen I've seen Rex, I've seen Espa, I've seen Rebecca, and now I've seen Weevil. Ooh, giant Trune. Oh, he starts with a giant flea. Ooh. Obnoxious. Mmm. Maha Violet would do more damage overall, but Noxious Celtic Garden can't be destroyed. Mmm. Interesting options. Yeah, I, I think I'll overall just do Maha Violet, though, but Obnoxious Celtic Garden was really, really, really begging me to do it. Like, it was really begging me. So, 2750 attack. There we go. Alright, set. Alright, I'm gonna bring out Gemini Elf. Alright, Sangan. So, he's gonna bring out something. And Giant Flea is not going to do anything. Right, there we go, attack his light points directly. And 
great. Oh, he threw away a parasite. Parasite. Uh, wow, he did it again. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, with Archie and Gilbert. Uh, no, never mind. I'll just bring out um, I'll bring out Aquamador. Actually, that was not a smart move because now Aquador can't do anything. God dang, I should have done Nox Cut the Garden. I could have destroyed both of them. I mean, everything, but now I can't now. God dang it. Ugh, that was a stupid stupidity on my part. Ugh. I just didn't want to sacrifice Obnoxious Celtic Guardian potentially for Archie of Darkness, but now it's cost me because now he's going to survive another turn with nothing there. Ugh, man. That was really dumb on my part. Alright, I'm going to sacrifice Aquador to bring out Archie and Darkness. I Archie and Gilfer. <laughs> Alright, so Gemini Elf go with that. Alright. Alright, Mahabali will go after that. Okay, good. Cocoon of Evolution. Alright, here we go. Major damage, and that's going to end the turn. <coughs> and now, Forest. Sets a monster. Circle, going to set that. And I'm going to summon out Grandora. Gain a thousand life points. That. All right, get rid of Petite Moth. That. And there we go. W. Oh, I feel so good to finally start winning duels now again. All right, so now let's continue onward. Now it's Mako. Haven't seen you in a bit. Alright. Now move second. Alright, giant red sea snake to start off with. That's a big one. Ooh! Activate Chorus of Sanctuary. And then I'll set this. And then I'll set Wall of Illusion. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. Giant jellyfish. Oh, that's gonna hurt even more! Ooh! <laughs> oh, that hurts. But of course, I didn't want you to get rid of jellyfish. I wanted to get rid of. Oh, god dang it. Man. Unfortunately, obnoxious Celtic Guardian can be destroyed. But you can't destroy Gemini Elf. No, I'll save it. I'll save Horny Unicorn for, um. For, um. Shit, I could have. Aw, oh, man, I could have flipped over Wall Evolution and do some life point damage too. God dang it, I'm making a bad move again. I'll save more of the Unicorn, though, for Mad Sword Beast. Alright, so that's that. Alright, speaking of which, I'll bring out Mad Sword Beast. And then I'll activate more of the Unicorn for it. There we go. And flip over um, Wall of Illusion. So now let's do some Pierce damage, hopefully. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh. Go. Alright. That's not nice. Alright, now do some life point damage. Alright, here we go. End my turn. Great white. Really? Why? Now your card's gonna go back to your hand, your life points are wide open again. Again, it's, it's so tiring to see the AI do dumb things again. Alright, I'm gonna activate Horn and Unicorn on Mad Sword Beast. And then I'll summon out Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. And this will leave you with just 50 life points. <laughs> and then Gemini Elf to finish it off. Yeah, Mako, that was just dumb. That was really, really dumb what he did. He probably would have still lost at that turn either way, but he just made himself wide open. You, you don't do that. You don't on purpose, and of course, Joey, you don't on purpose make yourself wide open unless it's like, unless you have no choice but to. If you have ways to avoid, you do it. All right, here we go, Joey. Let's see what this deck's got. All right, Alligator Sword. 
And he sets two cards. Like that. And I'll summon out Gemini Elf. And of course, Graceful Dice. God damn it, now it has 2,000. It's got enough now. Ugh, man. Damn it. Alright, at least I got Spellbind Circle, but I really would like not to use it. Unfortunately, I think I'll take the Life Point L and wait. It saves Spellbind Circle for something better. Ugh, my gosh. Would have been nice to have had that earlier. Alright, summon out you, Gemini L. Yeah, I'll go with Alligator Sword. Because I was thinking of Rocket Warrior, but its effect will make it, make it zero, so it's pointless. It would put me in a very bad spot. And... No, I'll wait. I have a plan, maybe. Zombra the Dark. Alright, well... Here we go, Spellbind Circle. I hate to really use it on Zombra the Dark, but... He's just trying to lower it to zero. You know, I think I'll just do Enchanted Javelin just to get some life points. But it's not going to do anything. It's just going to make it zero attack, but it's not going to be able to do anything this turn. So that was kind of pointless. Alright, Axe of Despair. I'm not tributed, though. I'm not tributed. Definitely not going to do that. So, I'll summon out Double Costume. And then I'll activate Axe of Despair. I think I'll do it on Gemini Elf, even though I wasn't thinking about it first. I'll see what maybe doing for a double costume. Alright, go for Zombra the Dark. Get out of here. And I'm not gonna attack because I don't want to potentially activate Rock of Warrior's ability yet. Alright, Fusion Gate. That gets. Oh, no, I have. Ooh, I, need... I probably should activate Course Sanctuary now. Oh, God, he's going for time with his effect. Oh, God, come on! Damn it! Oh! I can't bring back Axe of Spear! Oh, damn it! Fuck! Man! But I need to activate Course of Sanctuary now. Alright, first things first. I activate Hot Agree, which allows me to draw two cards! Ooh, interesting options now. <laughs> Alright, so activate Course of Sanctuary, which will get rid of Fusion Gate. Because you can't have two field effect field cards at the same time. The, the next one destroys the other one. So now he can't just fusion summon whenever. And I think... Yeah, it's going to get destroyed. I think I'll just send Aquador down. That's going to do some major life point damage. And of course he brought Jinzo. That's going to do some life point damage to him. And he can't just... Jinzo can't destroy it. Let's go! Hehe. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh! Promise, I'm gonna promise it's gonna put him in a bad spot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do what Adam suggested before. I hate to do this because it's gonna be a lot of life point damage. I'm gonna summon out Dimensional Warrior and go attack Jinzo just to get out of the field. I hate to do this, take some life point damage, but I gotta get rid of Jinzo. Yeah, get out of here, Jinzo. All right, so now we're safe. I still can't do anything right now. He brought Panther Warrior, but he can't do anything yet. I think I'll set... I have an idea to do both Copycat and Arts Phoenix Guild for, but I'm going to take play safe right now. Just put Shine the Biss out there. He'll survive anything. Again, he'll survive anything. 2100... No, 2300 defense in a moment. Oh, that was not a smart move. Oh, oh. He sets another monster. Ooh, time machine, alright. Let's say use that. Alright. I'll summon out Copycat. And I'll activate its effect. And I'll copy Pamper Warrior. So now it has 2,000 attack. And I'll just go attack Alligator Sword for right now. I gotta be very careful though. Because he could destroy Pamphlet I mean, Copycat next time and do some major damage. 
I just got to hope he doesn't think right. Uh oh, he's sacrificing. And he brought. Oh, gr here we. Wait, no, he did two fast sacrifices. So he can't do Gilbert Lightning's effect. But this sucks. But I'll be able to use Time Machine to bring back Copycat. But I wonder if will I be able to do the effect though. Yes, I will activate. I wonder if I can use. Can I use Copycat's effect here? It, oh, that's right. It is special, so I could. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Thank you, Joey. Now I have a 2800 attack monster out there. Let's go. I. S yeah, guys. Copycat is really, really good. I remember using it for a long time, but it just wasn't really useful for my member before. It's really, really, really good now. All right, and do that. Now, Copycat is 3,500 attack. And I'm going to sacrifice out um, Shiny the Bitch so I can bring out Guilford. I mean, Archfiend and Guilford. All right, now they're going to go on the attack. Oh, man, I got bailed out that he only had two monsters. That would have been a disaster. Now I can attack his life points direct. And of course, why am I not surprised, Joey? You have this card in your deck. Why am I not surprised I'm seeing it? Scapegoat. Ugh. Alright, end my turn. Maybe I can go on the attack now. I, could, I should have maybe done that earlier, but I didn't think it was going to work out as well. And of course, he brought back Archfiend and Guilford. Oh god. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh god, that was a very bad move. But I'm gonna survive still. But man, that was actually a bad move in the end. Oh, that really hurts. All right, I'm gonna put Command Knight in defense just to be safe. We gotta get rid of um, Gilford the Gilford the Lightning. Get out of here. Oh, that really did hurt though. I gotta be careful. I don't got many life points left. Alright, Axe Raider, get rid of you. Alright, end my turn. This duel is so close. Goblin Attack Force. Unfortunately, he can attack, um... Okay, he set the Goblin Attack Force. I don't know why he would have done it. He could have just attacked and destroyed Archfiend and Gilford who would have gone to defense and been safe. That actually would have been smart if he did that. Put, um... Goblin attack force and attack. I really don't get why he did that. Alright, I'll just go attack. Goblin attack force. You could have done 100 life point damage to me, Joey, and then safely gone back in defense, so I really don't know why you did that. That actually might have been the smartest idea you could have done. Alright, so now here we go. End my turn. I gotta be very careful about Grandor. Alright, maybe I'll take a chance first and get just do Man Eater Bug to get rid of one of the um the tokens. And I'll flip over Command Knight. Yep, it got the boost like I figured. Alright, somehow Grandor, so I'll gain a thousand life points too. Hopefully now I'm in position to just finish it off. Unfortunately, because of course Sanctuary, Man Eater Bug cannot destroy the cheap token, which no normally it would. So I'm gonna have to use one of my other monsters instead. So here we go first, get rid of you. And now your life points are wide open. Ooh, I think I could do exact zero. And of course, just my fall is going to do exact zero. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, of course. Alright, well. Let's go attack normally. Unfortunately, one of the tokens is going to have to survive because Man Eater Bug can't do anything. Just when I was about to do exact zero for the W. I'm really curious now I fall of it. Okay, that's being a poet's monster. That sucks you can't be your own monster. That would be so broken though. Alright, he sets another monster. I can't bring out Grandor, unfortunately. I think I should. I think I should play it safe and just put Manny or Bug in defense. Because I'm in a bad life point spot. I can't take that chance. Alright, first things first. We'll go attack this token with Man I mean, Command Knight. And then we'll attack you. Get out of here. Alright, now your life points are open for exact zero damage again. I think. 
I knew my math was right. <laughs> exact zero, Joey. Let's go. And what a duel that was. What a clutch comeback was. That duel was close. Yeah. More for a pack. Yay. I don't know about that, Joey, necessarily. My god, those duels with Rebecca and Joey have been so close down to the wire. Oh, hello, Ishizu. Alright, let's see how my new deck does against you. Ugh. I beat you last time. Let's see how it does this time. Oh, and I'm going first, too. Lovely. Alright, it's night. Oh, th this is gonna really help her deck, though. Man. Alright, I'm gonna summon out Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. And then I'll activate... No, activate Horny Unicorn so you can't destroy it now. And if I get Command Eye out there, again, another 400 attack. Hehe. <laughs> this has been my strategy to do that. Oh, wow. God, she just did reload. Alright, Spellbind Circle. Alright, I'm going to summon out Command Knight so they both gain 400 attack. Let's go. Alright, here we go. I don't... It has an effect, but I don't know what it does. It's activating. What's it do, though? What does it do again? Oh, that's right. She could summon a level 3 monster, I think it was. But she couldn't, so we're good. I don't know what that was, but okay. And she brought Thunder Dragon. There's nothing I can do. Oh god, brought Mask of Darkness. She's gonna spe if I do that, she'll special summon out. I mean, I guess I could potentially do that. I'll special summon out Galeosaurus. And then I will summon out Gear Free the Iron Knight. Okay, you don't gain the booze. Attack you. Maybe it would have been better if I attacked instead of Nox Celtic Garden on you, but oh well. Go and do some major damage. Ooh, exact 1200. Oh, that's right, I can't do it yet. Alright, just to be safe so you don't do anything stupid, I'm gonna sacrifice Galeosaurus and Guildfree to Iron Knight. Then I can bring out Dark Magician. That way, if you somehow do that stupid trap of yours, I'll still have two cards available. Right, here we go, and that is game. Damn, I crushed Ishizu back-to-back -back times. Let's go. Feels good. All right. All right, so there we go. Now back home we go. I got enough time, I think, for one. Actually, no. I'm going to play it safe and just go straight to, to the um, game shop. Packs to buy. Yay. Let's go! Alright, so... Yeah, I think this... Might try and get, get some more of this these packs. So, let's see. Ooh! Fairy Meteor Crush! Yes! Fairy Meteor Crush! Let's go! That's a good card! Yeah! Yeah! Fairy Meteor Crush, effectively, is... Um, Mad Sword Beast. E, 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 yeah, I definitely need to get that in my deck. Let's go! That's one card, Fairy Meteor Crush. Uh, collected Power. Select one. That? 
Select one monster face up on the field. Equip this monster with all face up equip spell cards on the field. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to mean. I guess it destroys if it's not equipped, but what? I don't get it. Doesn't sound really that spectacular, though. Ooh, Chosen want me to look at that again. I think that might be... Ah, uh, I don't think it's that good. That could have a maybe niche effect. Alright, back to get more packs from you. Ooh, Vacura into Magma Warrior, but I don't think that's going to be useful right now. Not bad, though. All right, let me try this one again. Ooh, another Shadow Spell! Let's go! Ooh, Car Destruction! And Soul Exchange! That could potentially be useful, Soul Exchange, but Shadow Spell definitely. I'll, t I'll take that over um, another um, Spellbind Circle. Soul, Soul Exchange and Card Destruction are really good cards, though. But I don't know if I'd put them in my deck, though, right now. You know, you give me Black Skull Dragon, but you don't give me Red Eyes. Yeah, I think I already saw that card before. Alright, maybe I'll give a try on Red Eyes again. Ooh, another Time Machine! I might potentially have to consider that. Fuck it, I might as well... Ooh, a new card too I found in there, but nothing I need. Come on, give me red eyes already. At this point, I don't know if it's even worth it if I did get it. Alright, Witch's Apprentice, but again, still nothing new. I think this is the most pack I've ever filled 90%. I don't think I've ever gotten this high in the game yet. I've been playing for 16 years. Mm. Again, nothing really good. Alright, so Fairy Meteor Crush, and then there was that one card, I can't remember what it was, but still got time for one more duel. Definitely feel a lot better getting all those um, packs, though, it felt so good. And of course, now we gotta deal with Panic again. Alright, Yami. Okay, Sorcerer of, Do Sorcerer of the Doom. So, it already has 650 and such. I think I'll put Wall of Illusion defense right now. But unfortunately, I think Yami's going to really weaken the monster I have in my hand right now. Sucks you couldn't get rid of Sorcerer of the Doom. That might, that's stronger. Ooh. It'll put it back in its hand, though. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just activate Dust Tornado instead to get rid of Yami. Grandora. One attack. Great shadow spell, son of a bitch. Damn it, now it's weak both ways. Ugh. But I can finally do this now. <laughs> 
first time ever using Giant Trunade! Now I don't have the weakness. Of course, you could just set it right back afterwards. Alright, he just activated another Yami. Ugh. And he didn't set Shadow Spell. And that was really not a smart move because now your life points are wide open again. He brought back the next Shadow Spell, most likely. Ooh! World Decree! Good time in there! Yami, I'm pretty sure, is going to weaken Shine Abyss. Oh, wait, no, I think it is... No, no, it is... I think it's fair. Yeah, it's fair, so Shine Abyss will be weakened. It'll be weaker, too. Alright, I think I'll just put it in defense right now. Alright, hopefully this works. Grandor attack. There goes Shadow Spell. Or never mind, apparently it's not going to work yet. Ugh! Hopefully, wait, maybe now I can activate it? Oh, that's right, I did this turn. Maybe next turn I'll be able to activate it. I better. No, I'll wait, I'll wait. I can do some damage right here. Yeah. And then I'll activate it. Which hopefully will negate it, and... <laughs> Let's go! I knew it would work. Alright! So now Shadow Spell is not in effect. And it wastes up a spot. Unfortunately, though, that means Kunai with Chain also won't work, either. <sighs> I hate to do this, but I'll put Shine Abyss in attack. I'll bring out Dimensional Warrior. And we'll just attack normally. He's gonna be able to bring out a monster, though. He can probably bring out, um, Castle of... Okay, he brought Dragon Zombie. Which means now I can't do anything yet. I mean, I guess I could just attack and just remove Dragon Zombie. Alright, both remove from play. Oh, no, I can't, I can't attack now. Let's go. Alright, end my turn. Alright, he brought another Dragon Zombie Nate does Pot of Greed. There's no point, because I can't do Kunai with Chain. There's, I can't do anything. Kunai Chain's not going to work because of World of Kree, unfortunately. Nope. End turn. Alright, I really hate to do this, but it looks like I'm going to have to bring out Copycat and just copy Dragon Zombie. I would like something better, though. Alright, now they go on the attack. go. Hopefully I can do it next turn. Great cost down. Hey, wait a minute. I just realized. Oh, it's right. Copycat spell castle, so it gets the boost from Yami. Ooh, that's not bad. Oh, great. Again, I can't do anything. I don't know why he left an attack. Yeah, I don't think that would be a wise idea. Oh, he only has five? I guess I could take the chance. Special summon Galeosaurus. Yeah, you bring back Pyramid Turtle. And then I'll set Big Shield Gardener. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to attack you, though. Brought giant, I mean, snake hair. Alright, go destroy Sorcerer of the Doomed. And thankfully, you're a zombie, so you don't get the boost, so I can destroy you. Alright, end my turn. I just don't get, I don't get, I never get the AI. Like, it's not like they're going to win, so why bother? Again, I'm going to set Spellbind Circle, but it's not going to matter, though, because can't do anything. 19. Sucks I'm not going to be able to win this turn. 
Ah. If I was able to activate freaking, um, um, Kunai with Chain, I could win by doing Big Shield Garner and all that. Ooh, maybe? Yeah, I'm just short, though. So there's no point to put out Big Shield Garner. Man, if I could have done Big... If I could have done Kunai with Chain, I would have won that turn, but I can't because of World Decree. Okay, destroy Big Shield Garner. It's not gonna matter. Wait, why didn't it destroy it? Shield Crush supposed to destroy, ain't it? Wait, did it negate it? Oh, okay. That's an interesting... I did not know Big Shield Garner had that effect. All I knew is it it would go into attack if, it's in, if it was attacked. That's all I knew. Alright, bring out Mahavalio. That... And that's game. Alright. That was actually a pretty tough duel against Panic. That duel went on for quite a while. Alright, I got one more duel I can do. Please don't be another Shadow Duel. Just let me do a regular duel for once. Even though I do get more points from a Shadow Duel. And of course, can't have good things. Alright, so this is now the last duel of the episode. As long as I don't die! Ugh. Alright, go second. Alright. Thing out with docks. Set, set. Ooh, I can do that strategy again! <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go set Command Knight. And end my turn. He's sacrificing to bring out Monster Tamer. Oh god, Invigoration. Now it's strong enough. Oh god, now he had two of them! I think it has 20... Oh my god, 2600 tech. That's not good. Okay, that's not good. I might have to activate Enchanted Javelin just to give myself a whole bunch of extra life points to be safe. But unfortunately, it's going to destroy. But thankfully, I will have Time Machine. Yep, thank god I have Time Machine still. So yeah, that's a very big, it's bad concern. All right, I hate to do this, but it's it, hey, it's worked two, at least one, maybe two times. I should have done an attack though. I should have put an attack, but oh well. I'll take the L, but more importantly, you're off the field. Get your ass out of the field. Take those invigoration cards with you too. Alright, I'm just gonna keep- I'll keep you in defense for right now, since it has higher stats. Alright, he ends his turn, he can't do anything. Alright, I'll summon out Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. And then I'll flip Command Knight over. It's nice to know that thanks to- Com Command Knight and Obnoxious Celtic Guardian make a really good combo to e toward each other. M Command Knight almost makes Celtic- Obnoxious Celtic Guardian up to be strong enough to the point where it can't be destroyed. Which is really cool. Alright, and another thing too is Gear Free the Iron Knight also combined too is really good. Makes me almost want to make like a warrior deck if possible. That would probably work out very well now that I think of it. I would need to get another com a couple more Command Knights though to make it really good. Command Knight's such a good card. Finally get tried out. And <laughs> Labyrinth Wall can't go in defense so I can destroy you. <laughs> get your bum ass out of here. Alright, end my turn. Nope, no, I did not want to go into main phase two. I wanted to end the turn. Alright, gonna set. Ooh, Horn the Unicorn. Alright, I'll activate that on Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. So now you can't destroy Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. And I'll summon out Gemini L. Alright, do that. And now Command Knight to finish it off. Yay! Easy W. Man, that was very scary at first when he did the Monster Tamer. But thankfully I had um, Dimensional Warrior working out just like Am told me some time ago to try it out. And it worked like a charm again. And I had Man Ear Bug, so it wasn't like I was out of options. Alright, now to go to bed. 
All right, I'm gonna have to work on my deck too because I got another Shadow Spell, Time Machine, and um, Fairy Meteor Crush. But that's gonna wrap up the episode here. See you all next time.